Hello, in this Mac OS X tips and tricks video, I am going to show you the simple process of creating a folder in your dock to be able to store applications. So as you can see, I've got quite a few applications here, but I've actually reinstalled my operating system. So I haven't got as many as I did before. And I know plenty of other users have loads of applications in the dock. And if you don't have like a really big screen, even if you have a big screen, having all these applications, you start installing more and more and you want them in your dock, it just gets out of hand. And a lot of them you can group together. And this is what I've done right here. So Adobe CC contains all of my creative Adobe applications. As you can see, if I were to click on one of these, let's say Photoshop, it opens up Photoshop as you would expect. So I'm just going to quit out of that. The conventional folder will be something like so that has files in there. But the process of creating a folder or essentially a group to have application icons is very similar. Unfortunately, you can't just pick them up and just drag them onto an application icon like so, as you would on Android or iOS. And you can't, unfortunately, if I go here and I have this Chrome little group, I can't drag, unfortunately, I cannot drag that on either. But what you can do is drag a folder on. So if, for example, I drag on this folder, extras, I have, a little group here, which is fantastic. We might think, how is that useful for application? Because your applications, as you are aware, reside in this application directory. But what I did for my Adobe Creative Cloud applications, created a folder in here, and I didn't copy and paste or move the applications to here. I just created an alias, hence this little icon here. That just means it's an alias, aka a shortcut if you're on Windows. That's what it would be called. So how do you create these aliases? Very simple. And also this folder doesn't have to go into your applications. It can go anywhere. So if, for example, I create a folder on the desktop and I'm going to call it awesome apps like so. I'm going to open this up and just move it to the side like so. And if, for example, I want App Store, I think the App Store is an awesome application. I want that as a shortcut. So if you right click, you go to make alias, and it creates an alias, as you can see with the little alias icon, like so. I'm just gonna leave the name as it is. And if I were to just move this like so, this has just copied it, because if I were to try and delete it, it just deletes normally as well. So let's say I also love BitTorrent. I do love torrenting, legitimately, of course. Just go to make alias. As you can see, it's created right here. I also love brackets. So let me just create an alias for this. So make alias. And I will move these two aliases over to this folder right here as well. Let's just get rid of the original alias. So now if I were to, for example, double click the App Store, that opens up the App Store. It's a shortcut to this application right here. So you can easily just add them like so. And now to actually add it to your dock, you just drag it. Unfortunately, you can't put it here, but if you put it just to the right of this vertical line, like so, there you go. And it automatically gets the icons of the files, folders, and anything that's in there. To change the way it looks, you can easily do that by right clicking. So if I want to view the content as, let's say, a list instead, it has more of a list option. I prefer it in a grid format, but you might not want it like that. So this is the sort of oopsie daisy. Oopsie daisy, where am I now? Ooh, so let's go back here. So, like I was saying, if you want it more like this, you can choose that. But again, I prefer the grid option. You can also display it as a folder or as a stack. Again, I prefer a stack so I can see exactly without having to go on here and see the name, what is inside it, get an overview. And you can range it in a different way as well you can obviously just remove it by dragging it off as you normally would 
And the beauty of having something like this is it's not restricted to applications. Because if, for example, I get this image, put this in here, as you can see, it contains free shortcuts plus an image as well. You can put folders in there. The possibilities are endless. So creating folders for your applications in the dock on a Mac OS X platform is really, really simple. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on our educational platform, sonarlearning.co.uk. There'll be a link to that in the description. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, leave us a comment. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.